everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mikita and I'm the founder of Glamazondiaries.com, the destination for size inclusive fashion, travel, food, lifestyle, as well as weddings. That's right, I'm getting married this fall or late summer, Labor Day weekend in France. Fingers crossed. Um, now that we're able to travel or hopefully able to travel next month to France, I'm super excited to take you along with me on my wedding planning journey. I've already started it. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process a little bit more as we go along. But that aside, today's video, we are talking about everything dresses, spring dresses to be exact. And I'm so excited to show you all the items I've got for spring. So I have kind of been wearing some of them already because I'm kind of brand new and I wear things pretty much as soon as I get them. Um, but these dresses are, they run the gamut in terms of price range and everything. So I'm excited to show you everything that I have in store. Before we get started, please give me a thumbs up on this video if you love it. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Again, I'm trying to get to a thousand followers by my birthday, which is April 29th. So spread the word, send it to your mom, your sister, your cousin, your brother, anybody, tell them to come and check out Glamazon Diaries and to subscribe and make sure that you have the ring notification button on so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. This sweater that I'm wearing is from H&M. I actually got it last year and it is a jeweled collared sweater. It feels so soft to the touch and I love the sleeve that it's um, actually at the elbow so I can wear it as I'm transitioning from spring from winter to spring so this is perfect for me I think it's sold out I'm gonna see if it's available and if it is I will link it in the description box below on my lips I'm wearing one of my favorite colors and it is from Colourpop and it's the soda pop 18 f3 this is the ultra blotted lip she is some choice beautiful it just flatters my my skin color and I really love this I this is my last tube. I used to buy these a lot, um, the same color, but I'm sure they still have it. Let's get started with this video. The first dress needs no introduction because you've already seen me in it. If you saw my video on Wednesday, it is this dress from Farm Rio. She is just sumptuous, stunning. I wore it on Wednesday because it was 72 degrees out in New York City and I love when the weather turns nice, I can wear all my spring dresses. This print is so lovely. I love all the colors in here, and it's 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 busy without being um, without looking cheap. It looks really expensive, like an expensive print. What makes this dress stellar for spring? A few things. One, the neckline. You have this sexy string right here, just enveloping the ticletage, so it just gives a little bit of a definition and just pumps them up a little bit more. I love that it has this tie right here so you can pull it to give you a little bit more of a cleavage, which is fun. Um, I actually, I wore it for our martini date night inside and it did not disappoint. So you can pull this string right here, which has um, th these tassels. You can pull the tassels and it gives you even more ample cleavage. So I think it's a bonus. Um, it's really great for those who want to show off the ladies just a little bit. I also adore the big puff sleeve. Y'all, like, puff sleeves are very flattering for most people. I have one friend who just doesn't like it because she says it makes her look like a linebacker. I I don't think it does, but she thinks it does. But I love this puff sleeve. It's very ample. So in terms of fit, I got the extra large, and I wear between a 12 and a 16, depending on the brand. This was the largest size for Farm Rio. So if you are between a 12 and a 16, it could fit. I would say more, um, if you're a 14 is a cutoff because if your waist is, if your waist is a little bit bigger, it probably won't fit you that well. But the side, it has a side zip so that you can slip it on easily. And then it has a, just a little bit of a skirt lined to the mid thigh, but the fabric itself is beautiful and the way that it's made with the hem y'all like this dress is just magical i love it i just want to like twirl around every single time i put it on and it is again from from rio i got two other dresses from them which i might return one i'm going to show you anyway i might return one of them but this one is a keeper she is going with me everywhere forever and ever and ever i love her so 
check her out. So the next one is a gingham print. And this is from one of my favorite brands. It's a French brand called Sundress. So Sundress makes these just lovely dresses that you can be in the south of France, in the Hamptons, in your backyard, pretty much anywhere. And they look just they look so good very well made this dress has a smocked top so it stretches i got the medium large and this for sundress i usually get the medium large although they do have extended sizing so check the, the actual extended sizing is on their french website which i'm going to link in which i'm going to link in the description box for you but this dress is really pretty it is too below the knee well it hits me like t-length what I love about this dress is that it's billowy and it has this tiered ruffles all over going down. It's just really good attention to detail and craftsmanship. But the fun part of it is that you tie the top, these two, you tie them and then has these pom-poms just to make it a little bit more playful and frilly and girly. Sundress is available on Shopbop as well as Revolve, but I like to support my small business by supporting her actual website which is sundress.fr but this dress is a keeper i actually got it in the green but for some reason the green didn't work like i just it didn't work and maybe it's because of the color but the color is gorgeous the color both of them are gorgeous but this one just it just reminded me of spring and i'm gonna wear this probably with either espadrilles or my gladiator flats i'm gonna keep it simple with a basket bag or something something a white bag would make this outfit pop so this is from sundress um i'm actually gonna wear that i'm gonna wear this for the cherry blossoms i'm shooting cherry blossoms because cherry blossoms are here in new york again so i'm going to do that i'm gonna wear this and i think it's gonna look so pretty um honestly i feel like you could either dress this up or down i could do espadrilles with them or i can even do these i could do these pumps if i wanted to get a little bit fancy and maybe add a blazer it would look really good or I can do something like these these slides if I want to be comfortable but just you know easy for brunch with the girls in the neighborhood or brunch with tea in the neighborhood so this is also one of my favorites for spring the next one you've seen me in probably if you follow me on Instagram you've seen me in it I've done reels with it it is from anthropology and this dress is just stunning. I love the print, the colors in the print, the yellows, the blues. You can't go wrong. I love the buttons that go all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. So you can, you know, it just makes it a little bit playful. It also has a puffy sleeve, but then it's got smocked, the smocking on the sleeve itself so that it's not too tight, especially if your arm tends to be a little bit bigger. This comes in both uh, standard, petite, and plus size, up to 3X. You can, it's called the Ronica, and I'm going to link it, but she is so beautiful. It's very, very flattering, too. I love that they have this, and this is the back of the dress, and it has um, elasticated belt to just cinch you in even more. So it's a keeper. The only negative I would have to say about this dress is the fact that the neckline hits just a slightly too low at the breastbone. So when your bra can kind of get a little bit exposed, but it's nothing that a little uh, safety pin won't fix. But it's really, really pretty and it sold out before and they brought it back. So snag it before it's gone and I've styled it so many different ways. I'm going to link my styling video. I styled it three different ways. I'll link it for you to check out this stunner she's I mean everything about this dress is a plus except for that the neckline the next dress is in the little black dress category and it's this I don't even know what to call it dress from H&M first of all it has shoulder pads to just give it a little bit of structure on the shoulders but it's got these um, fun little tassels all over it and it just makes it such a fun date night dress. I wore this about two weeks ago on a date night and it just, it flatters. It looks really, really good. It's very, uh, it's not fitted, so it's it's more of a sheath. And it also has a very, very deep, like a deep V. H&M was like, okay girl, we got you. We have a little hook and eye right here. So you just put the hook and eye in and it, it makes it a lot more demure. 
In terms of styling, I'll probably cinch this at the waist and I could even layer something underneath it. Maybe um, a, co a contrasting top, like a white top or even a bright pink just to make give it a little bit a little bit of interest but it has an asymmetrical hem it's lined but it's not really that lined so it's still see-through um i have to say i usually like i've worn it twice and i end up putting a slip skirt under just so that you don't see my lady bits this sold out very fast on h&m but i'm going to see if it's still available or if they they sometimes restock so if it's restocked i got you my next spring dress is another gingham. I love gingham in the spring. I feel like spring and gingham go together like peanut butter and jelly. Just gingham just reminds me of like a picnic in the park or, you know, just, it's just cute and it's spring and summer. So I saw this one on New York and Company, this gingham dress, and I just, I died. I died. Yes, it has a smocking in the front. It has a, uh, it's a square neck, so it looks really, fl it flatters gives you know shows off the 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 decolletage a little bit i love the puff sleeve and then has a little ruffly um sleeve but it's it's really cute but what i love the most what makes it even more dainty and just like come to mama is the back and it's got a it's bowed in the back so there are two straps one at the very top and one in the middle of the back and you tie it and it just looks so beautiful so it's like you see me coming, but you're going to love seeing me going because my back looks amazing. I think this is such a beautiful dress. I got it in the extra large and it fits perfectly. It goes up to double XL. I feel like if you're between a 14 and a 16 or even I'll say even an 18, you could get away with the, um, the XL. But if you have a bigger chest or bigger in the waist, I'll go with the double XL but this is a this is such a beautiful dress and it's very it's long so I'll probably do flats with them just to be comfortable or I'll do some wedges this is another one that I was like wow New York and company came through like they really did such a fabulous job with this dress I'm gonna link everything for you and if it's available you will know if not oh, sorry the next dress is also anthropology and it's also gingham I guess I'm a gingham girl. When it comes to spring and summer, I'm very into gingham. So this one is black and white. And it is a lot of dress. It's not very fitted. It's very loose. So this is one of those casual dresses that you can wear anywhere. You can wear in the house to be comfortable or if you want to go out, you can. I've worn this twice. The first time, I just wore it by, just like that with flats. You can see it here and then the next the second time for a date night in the neighborhood I wore I cinched the waist with a belt and I wore my my bow mules but this one the waist is pretty big and I got the I got the extra large and I honestly I feel like I should have done the large because it just it's a little too big a slightly shorter puff sleeve um, and it doesn't have stretch so if you have um, your arms are bigger you might have to go to your regular size or do the extra extra large and it has a high neckline so it is more of a crew neck instead of a low neckline which i really love because i feel like in the spring summer most of my dresses are lower neckline so this one i can actually add a fun necklace or a choker or some of some sort and it'll look really good the skirt really long i mean it's my silhouette i love the silhouette you can't go wrong with a long one and and if you're short like me it's going to be more of a maxi dress if you are taller than five five or five four it's going to be a more of a midi or t length on you um this dress is still available and it's on sale i think i got it mine for 99 dollars, but it might even be a little bit more cheaper because anthropology is having a sale one of my favorite dresses for spring is denim like denim dresses i think you can't go wrong you can dress them up you can dress them down and they always just look really put together and polished so i saw this dress on new york and company's website and it fits the bill if it's a makita dress like i know what y'all gonna say this is typical but you know what if it ain't broke don't fix it so this is a square neck denim dress with a puff sleeve yes but it is two-toned so the top is 
this denim and then the bottom is slightly darker so it gives it a little bit more interest puff sleeve with stretch in the sleeve which is nice mm -hmm. and it has elastic it's elasticized all the way around for comfort it's not it's not uncomfortable the the elastic isn't too tight so i love this dress and then it has buttons that go all the way down all the way down like to the bottom but the skirt is big and it is um it flatters the waist right here just like the other anthropology dress it is um there's a, a large elastic in here so that it cinches you in a little bit more and then you get this belt that goes with it i honestly i've worn it with the belt which looks really good but i think this is where you can have so much fun with with your dress with denim it's denim is a blank canvas so you can have so much fun with it you can cinch it with a wider belt with a thin belt you could even do a chain belt if you wanted um and then play up with the colors that's what jeans are for like i this is again this is my blank canvas so i can do so many things with this i can wear it with a gold and it looks really really good i can do a pink and it still looks really 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 good or i could even do a nude like this and it still looks amazing so honestly like this you can't go wrong with a denim dress it it's like the one staple piece in your closet that i feel like everyone should have from spring through or maybe even year round i think denim should be part of, a denim dress should be part of your capsule collection if you wear dresses and I do. I, I don't wear jeans as much. So this one is just, it's a no-brainer. And um, it's still available on New York and Company, so I'm going to link it for you. This is the first time I actually tried Farm Rio because I had seen so many people, so many of my friends buying Farm Rio dresses. And I'm like, okay, let me just, you know what, let me try it. Let me see what all this hype's about. I don't even know if it's going to fit, but whatever. You know what? I don't know. I got it. I'm hooked. I'm a Farm Rio girl for life. I just love all their prints like their prints are so fun and such a statement so this one is a ma it's a true maxi and it is it's all the things that i love puff sleeve it has a neckline that's interesting this one is elasticized on the neckline but look at this look at this look look at this eh isn't it beautiful huh look at this i just love the tassels it just it's very interesting and it's uh, just flattering you can cinch the waist with a belt but it's super super long and it is tier the skirt just goes out it's more of an a-line um it's slightly a little bit too long for me but i just i love this dress um i'm thinking i'm waiting to wear it i'm waiting for like l late spring early summer you know when like the weather is the weather just it's like it flips a switch that's why i'm wearing this dress and i'm wearing it to the park i'm going to brunch i'm going y'all invite me invite me places i'm gonna go i want to go out um this one is i feel like you can't you can do espadrilles i would do my wedges with them because it's slightly too long the fabric is a little stiffer in this one than the first dress i showed you from farm rio i think it's gonna i feel like once i start sweating you might see sweat stains but maybe not maybe not um i really like this multi-stripe dress slightly see-through so you would have to wear something underneath just to give you uh, if you don't want your silhouette showing when you're walking in the sun but this dress is really pretty it's a keeper as well and in terms of styling i would wear i'll cinch it with the i'll cinch it with the belt um just to give it more of a shape and the wider the better i would do like a big wide belt like big white belt and it looks so cute with this and then an accessories of gold although i mean i guess i could do silver and it'll look really good silver looks good with this too uh, i'm more of a gold girl but you can't go wrong with silver when the silver is the right silver i don't know if it makes sense the right silver is everything the next dress is also farm rio and I really loved the concept of it. Sadly, I think this one is going back. This one's also extra large, but it's just, it's just a little too tight. I love these buttons right here. Look at these buttons on it. It's really, the wood buttons, 
the print itself, the palm leaf print, and then the color. This dress is all sorts of right. I just wish that they extended size to maybe make it double XL. If you guys are listening, please listen. Uh, the prints, it's like multi-print, so you have this zigzag uh, fabric right here, and then you also have the printed palm, the palm print. So it is a really beautiful dress. This dress hits me right below the calf, so it's more of a T-length-ish. Uh, but what I love about the hem is that it's it's not straight. It is on um, a scooped... If, does, is that, is that a, even a word or te a terminology or technical terminology? It's like a scooped, rounded... It's a rounded hem, so it looks really... It flatters. It looks so good. I love the sleeve. It's It hits below the elbow, so I can, you know... I can sweat and nobody's gonna see but this dress is so pretty I just wish I, it has to go back it just doesn't fit and I I don't I'm not one of those girls that, that thinks well I'm gonna lose weight and then it'll fit this was way too expensive for me to like keep in the closet in hopes of losing weight so sadly this is gonna go back but farmer if you're listening please make this in a double XL see you play I love it it's really cute last but certainly not least is this dress that one of my friends sent me and she was like girl this is your dress you need to check it out i checked it out i was sold and it is this maxi from white house black market so i haven't shopped white house black market in like eight years nine years but i saw i mean this dress i saw it and i'm like oh whoa 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 hold up hold up hold up hold up a minute it is so cute i just love the pleating right all the pleating and the maxi it's a it's a maxi skirt with lots of pleating so i can do my 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 big you know and my photos that you see this dress is just perfection for that um it is a v-neck so this is a racer back so you would probably have to either do a strapless or um the boob tape which is like the brassy bra tape is amazing for that so what I love about this is the print is very, um, it draws the eyes in all the right places so that you look, you just look snatched. It looks, um, it looks so cute and sexy on. Um, I, so I got two sizes. I got the 16 and the 14 and the 14 looks much better. The 14 just, it's a little, you see the girls a little bit more, but it has this hook and eye closure right here if you want to make it less revealing so it that's a plus but the 16 just it was a little too big and where in the places that i wanted it this dress from white house black market is so it, i really i was very surprised because i don't really shop there often well i haven't shopped there in a, a few years so this was definitely a great way for me to get back into white house black market the dress is lined so in the summertime if you just in case the wind sweeps up your skirt you're gonna be fine you're not gonna be exposed for me, it looks, um, it, it's more of a maxi on me, so I'm going to do a uh, espadrille, or I can even do some flats with them, or even heels if I wanted to. If it gets a little cold, a shawl, or I could do a little, a cute little crop jacket. I have a few that I'm going to try and see if, um, if they match. If not, Zara has a few things that I am excited to try. So that's it. This concludes my spring dress haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a few more that I wanna, I'm want i going to show you throughout the year or throughout the summer. Um, but this one is the first batch. And I want to show you some of the styling tips and everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you loved it. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And make sure that you have the notification button on so that you're alerted every time I post a new video. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section and I'll reply back. And follow me on Instagram. It's Glamazon Diaries. Check out my blog, which is glamazondiaries.com. And I'm on all social media, on Pinterest, Clubhouse, um, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. It's all Glamazon Diaries. Type in Glamazon Diaries and you'll see moi. In the meantime, please have a safe one. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.